there's anything I think people love to see as well, it's seeing someone evolve and grow over time. Of course. You know, like I've gotten people who've said like, yo, I've been following you since like 2012, 2013. And it's been insane seeing you like your stuff become uh, get better and better with every year, like keep up the great work. And it's flattering. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's so gratifying to see that like people have seen that change where, you know, a lot of times I don't because I just make stuff and I forget how far, you know, and I'm sure you, you feel the same way of course. where like, you know, you, you don't stop sometimes to smell the roses with yourself and see like, oh shit. You I've know come a good trick for this... that? I don't know if you do it, but if you have a real life, like a, a tangible sketchbook, the thing with that is that you have the book. So you see the drawings that were there at the beginning and at the end. And that thing helps so much my stupid mental health. When I see a, a sketchbook, usually the first drawing sucks and the last one sucks a bit less. I'll yeah. Be honest. Yeah, like, like uh, I think a really good thing to do for any artist, and I'm sure a lot of people have done this before, but it's always good to do every so often. When you're feeling down about your work or your skill level, and we all get it, you know, we all have imposter syndrome. We all think like, mm -hmm. you know, we're all, we're not as good as we think. Go grab a drawing you did five or 10 years ago and put it next to your stuff now and just see the difference that you that you've come from and i know a lot of people who are probably listening or or people who come to or come to this probably have been doing art for a while and you know always are seeking guidance and trying to like improve and grow in so many ways because artists will always be growing and changing no matter what um but we always get hung up on like are we good enough the thing i would suggest to a lot of those people out there is just grab your art from like several years ago two three years ago five however long and just put that next to your most current piece that you're proud of and just like see the difference between those two and see like, Oh my God, like I really have come this far. You would be surprised. A lot of those people will be surprised at just how much they've changed without realizing it. Um, like I've, I've done that several times where I even look back two, three years ago and I'm like, I did not draw the same way. Me too. Yeah. And what I tell my students often is, um, uh, back when I was in school, teaching in school, uh -huh. yeah. I was like, compare yourself to you more than you compare yourself to others. Exactly. Because yes, I agree with that. Like everybody comes from different, everybody has different skills. And that's something I insist. I know that people love to be like the American dream. Like, if you try enough, you will make it. Honestly, no. Like, not all people are equal. Some people are more talented yeah. than you, and you have to respect that. Compare yourself to you, not to others. I know, and 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 that's not and that's not to say anything or uh, dismiss the skill level or the quality or or of anything course. of the people. It's just it's just a circumstance of life that, like, again, we wish everyone could have similar or equal success. We wish everyone could have like the opportunities that, you know, like a select few of us can ever get sometimes, but like, it's not always in the cards for everybody. And, but what I like to tell people is that you can't always equate an objective success subjectively to anyone. Like as far as hitting a point where you feel comfortable with like where you want to be at with your work and in life. I think it's important to kind of measure it on a personal level rather than set an expectation versus where you think you should be. I think that's what gets people very miserable more often than not, or makes people more miserable than they need to, to be, you know, cause they think, oh, I, it's like, if I'm not this person's success level, like you can have way less than that and be happy. You can have yeah. a completely different version of that kind of success in a different way under different circumstances at a different time and still be and be okay. I, I do think that like, it just depends on, again, time, place and circumstance and luck. I it, it's tricky to say because like, it, it always comes off as a conflict of interest versus someone who may have had the luck or the privilege or the opportunity to have that sort of thing. But if what I bring to this uh, is a testament to anything, it's that you don't know when it'll happen or where. Or to what degree it will succeed. I didn't expect Tinder Skitty to be to be this big. 
And it just kind of came out of nowhere. And I'm still surprised and honestly flattered like crazy. And I but, think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that the re reason why you still do it, and I, correct, like, I, you, you do seem happy doing it. And yeah. what I enjoy watching is that it's always so different. Like, sometimes you bring, like, the, the Evie girl band that is so cool. Oh, and, Evie 9, yeah. Yeah, sometimes they're, like, it's it's the, the moms that are at the at the hair salon or something. So it's, it's. It is Tinder Skitty. It is made of like Pokemon fan art to a certain extent. Yeah, it's, extent, a, it's but, a Pokemon fan project, technically. But the way that you own it, I think, is so inspiring because it's it it doesn't stagnate and it it does seem that you're having fun with it and it's it's fun to see. So thank you. Well, it, it's it's because I do like to take my time, and that's why now I don't post as many comics um, because I've kind of hit like a lot of the the main ideas I wanted to and. I do have an end in mind for Skitty, but like that's okay. I don't want to keep forcing ideas because I I know if I try to force it too often, that's what'll make it stagnate. Exactly. So what I like, I'm I'm putting out stuff when I think of a really fun idea that I think would work like in the world of Tinder Skitty. Like, what could the characters do that would be interesting and explore either their relationship differently or uh, put them in an interesting situation that would be fun for people to see. And also, like, what kind of characters could I introduce in this? Or what kind of characters could I throw in the background that are fun that could be part of this, like, uh, this experience that Skitty and Waylord are going through, you know? Uh, one thing I, I love people's, uh, uh, people doing with the, the comics is seeing the background characters. Yes! Um, <laughs> like, everyone, the moment, it all started when, like, uh, and I got motivated to put more background characters in when I put in a, um, uh, uh, an artist, Mo Weil, in the, in the background of one comic but way back in the, earlier this year. And people were like, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? And, like, <laughs> pointing that, that, that Mo Weil out. I and, remember like, that. Screen capping and zooming in and, like, oh, who's she? And, like. I I love I thought it was so funny and so cool that like people were paying attention to the little things, um, and I've tried to make more of a conscious effort to uh, put in as much a little background details as possible. And actually, fun little behind the scenes tip: uh, my girlfriend also helps me um, kind of keep consistently adding details in to my backgrounds. Like like sometimes she'll look over my my comic and she'll be like. Oh, that's pretty good. You know what you could do? Just put this, 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 this in there. And she'll find like little things for me to like add in. Like, and I realize, oh crap, that would make it so much better. So like, I like details are very important because she gets it. And, and a lot of people seem to get this too. And I really like that. It's that details are really important for these kind of things. Like coming back to like what makes comics really great. 